Hi guys, welcome to our channel Life with the Upper Last. I am Nanto. In today's video, I will show you how to prepare delicious bitter leaf soup, popularly known as Ofo Nubo in eastern part of Nigeria. By the way, this is a special Omugo or postpartum care treat uh, for my wife uh, who recently gave birth to our baby girl. Question for you, when last like, did you eat uh, authentic Nigerian bitter leaf soup? Let me know in the comment section because I haven't had any in a very long time. Please like, share, subscribe and let's dive right into it. For this recipe, I'll be using a chicken fowl, beef, cow stripes or shaki, snail, liver, goat meat, cow trippers or afano, and cow feet. And by the way guys, you don't have to use all these uh, assorted meat, uh, we'll call it the rishi rishi. <laughs> you can choose whatever uh, meat that you prefer, uh, you can keep it as minimal as possible. But for this, this is uh, a special delicacy, I am going all out. Add all the meat together inside a pot, uh, as you can see here, and then I'll, for this I'll be using uh, sea salt, Himalayan sea salt as well as onion powder now this is optional if you like onion powder if you don't like you can leave it out one thing i must say you notice that i didn't use any of the cubes um, whether it's my gear no or seasoning cubes uh, we leave it out in my house for good health uh, reasons add a generous amount of water to fill the meat cover the pot and let it cook for about 40 minutes while the meat is cooking go ahead and boil bitter leaves to remove the bitterness now, just because it's called bitter leaf does not mean that your soup will be bitter. Well, I must say, someone I know, let's just not call names here, once did that and the soup certainly was bitter and uneatable, so you don't want to do that. Cook for about 20 minutes to soften it and then remove the bitter taste. You will still need to wash it a couple of times to completely remove the bitter taste. Now that your bitter leaf is already boiling, Go ahead and do the same process for cocoa yam. This is another important recipe we're going to be using for this particular soup. Wash off your cocoa yam and cook it for about 25 to 30 minutes to make sure that it softens. And once it's ready, I will use a blender to blend it. Of course, if you have the traditional mortar, you can also uh, use that as well. Oh yes, this smells unreal. The aroma in this kitchen is unbelievable. At this point, uh, I'm going to add a uh, stockfish, so if you plan to use stockfish, this is the right time to add it. Guys, I'm telling you, if you have never tried bitter leaf soup, you got to try this. You are missing out. I highly encourage you to try this recipe. Be sure to check out the description box below for all the ingredients that I'm using for this recipe. Once your cocoa yam is ready, you definitely know once you touch it, you will feel the softness. Go ahead and peel and run it through your blender. If you're going traditional way, well, I'm here in the US, unfortunately, I'm not, I'm not a chef, so I don't intend to invest in a mortar. A uh, blender can do the job for me within a few uh, seconds. Why do I want to go through that whole experience of pounding it with a mortar? Boy, I went through that for many years when I was in Nigeria. But anyway, go ahead and do that and set it aside. Next, wash your bitter leaf three or four times until the bitter taste is gone. We're more than halfway there, guys, so hang tight. I'm really excited to see how this turns out. I'm sure my wife will be excited too. So now I've gone ahead and added my cocoa yam and about one cup of oil, red oil. Some people use their pan butter if that's what you prefer, but growing up, we, all, we always use the uh, palm oil. That's what we use. So. I'll go ahead and let this now cook for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes until, until the cocoa yam is completely dissolved. After about 10 minutes, uh, look at what I have guys, the coconut has finally dissolved. At this point, I'll go ahead and add your dry fish, for mine I've already washed it in hot water, removed uh, bones, add uh, crayfish and then ogiri or locust beans. Boy, the aroma in this kitchen guys is unreal, it's unbelievable, I hope I don't get a bang on my door. <laughs> From my neighbors because the smell here or the aroma is just very appealing i'm really excited guys to see how this turns out let me know guys in the comment section whether you plan to try this recipe or whether you have been cooking i know that most of the times especially typical nigerians or evos mainly uh, ladies cook but i'm not i'm a guy here uh but i'm just 
love to cook, especially when I'm doing that to help my wife uh, take care of the newborn. I will cover the pot and let it cook for another five to seven minutes. Okay guys, I tested my food and I needed just a little bit of salt. Also, uh, my wife, she lost paper. I don't. <laughs> I just want to make sure that the soup tastes, you know, good for her. So I'm going to be adding just a little bit of pepper uh, to spice up the food. Once you're comfortable with the taste, the last thing here is to add your bitter leaf. Go ahead and add your bitter leaf and make sure you gently turn it so everything kind of simmers around. And allow it to cook for two to three minutes. Okay guys, uh, this is really great. I just love how this smells and I love the taste. I am so excited, I can't wait for my wife to give this a try. Guys, I appreciate you watching. If you like this too, be sure to hit that uh, like button. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't subscribed to our channel. And be a look at, this is just the first among several soups that I'll be preparing for my wife throughout this Omugo experience or the postpartum care for my wife. So this is just one of those that in the be on the lookout for other videos uh, such as okra soup, pepper yam, stew, and even, oh man, I can't wait to try this guys, uh, ofaku, that is palm butter soup. Ofaku, be on the lookout for these videos guys, I'm really excited. Again, thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in another video.